Hey guys, Merry Christmas. I was scrolling through Twitter the other day and I saw a post saying, follow your dreams. And you know what? That's, that's some good advice. Now I've always had one dream in particular and that is to become scarce. If you don't know who scarce is, why are you alive? I'm going to become scarce because I am going to follow my dreams. And you OG scarce viewers out there, my fellow kings, um, you may know that scarce has conducted a few interviews in his past. With it being Christmas season, what better way to become scarce than interview Santa Claus himself? I spoke to his PR team recently, roll the clip. Hello. Hello. Uh, am I through to Santa's t PR team? Yeah, one of the many, unfortunately. Oh. Unfortunately? Yeah, I... um, well, we won't go into too much detail about that. Um, anyways, uh, I was hoping to get an interview with uh, St. Nicholas. Would that be possible? You and everybody else. What makes you so special? Well, I am famous YouTuber Scarce. Mm. I report the news. Everything that goes on, you know, James Charles, uh, your your Jake Pauls, your Logan Pauls, you know, oh, all this nice. YouTube boxing, very anyone nice. getting cancelled, I'm on it straight away. Mm. I got a lot of subscribers, so St. Nick might be interested. That is pretty interesting. We could definitely use the uh, coverage for sure. Um, I gotta ask, though, um, how, how much journalism do you do you know we, we want somebody very qualified for the job the last reporter um unfortunately uh, got eaten alive by the reindeer so we just want to oh sure damn was this um qualified. killer game star by any chance uh the drama alert guy yeah yes the screens More were horrible subscribers for me well i do tons of journalism you know, I have a whole research team, but I, I recently fired all of them because they were just kind of useless because I do all the journalism. Wow. My track record is insane. Nobody has ever been able to call out bullshit on one of my segments. Not one of my videos, one of my sentences. Mm. So um, I, I'd say I'm pretty qualified. You know, Santa Claus will not be disappointed. Christmas will be saved, even though it doesn't need to be saved. So I think I can... Um pencil you in uh when are, when are you available uh i'm free on tuesday night if oh. that's possible no that, that works that works out perfectly perfectly fine oh, and no. you should tell them that uh dale sent you dale the dale. elf you know, santa's 15th favorite elf so 15th i can oh, move up a little up bit on the left it's pretty up there I, I i can promise you this i'll get you to number four. Oh, dale likes that's top that. five that's top five. Dale, Dale quite enjoys that. Dale episode. will be up there, bro. Mm. Oh, I, I should ask uh, about compensation as well. You know, the uh, North Pole is a charity foundation. We run off of uh, donations, so uh, I was wondering how much of the, uh, you know, the, the ad revenue could perhaps be, be forwarded to the uh, CPM. I have otherworldly CPM, mm. so, um, you know, I'd say even with 2%, you could refurbish the entire north pole so let me offer you this okay 10 percent for santa claus and he can pay you whatever he wants mm -hmm. and a little under the table i'll give you five percent so little I, you know oh, uh, yeah all for you Dale. i'm i'm willing to break my oath of fairness and equality just to get this interview with santa claus you're really serious huh this has to be freaking done. I don't think you understand. You know, the, the wife's been bitching about her new car for a couple of years now. And with this money... Mm. I think it's time to get her a whip. You might be her first favorite boyfriend, finally. Ooh. Everything's coming up, Dale. Dale likey. Mm. Well, I, I think we can consider it done in a fair and legal manner um, that you are mm -hmm. scarce. Such a great journalist. Uh, I will let Santa know immediately that you were uh, coming his way thank you very much too and just for that i might even put you on the nice list <laughs> well i'm gonna go um gotta go milk rudolph you know get the eggnog going for the holiday season and uh i'll let santa know so i'll see you later thank you very much Dale. no problem so as you guys saw i spoke to one of santa's elves dale 
very cool guy actually secured me the interview with Santa so that's what you're gonna see next I uh, hope you guys enjoy and until next time guys I'll see you later peace um hello uh hello is this thing on uh I think so well hey hey Santa Claus uh, I've been Howdy. waiting so long to get this interview with you um wait what, what happened to your eye though that's that's a little concerning man let me let me tell you it has been a day first mm. off i woke up hit the benjamin hit up the vibe tribe got the benjamin here let's go let's go long story short um they 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 they, they took out my eye um well, that is unfortunate you know I, I think that would hinder your sort of momentum with delivering presents you know you only got half of your field of vision you know you might miss a house or two so hopefully that doesn't happen and we'll have some unhappy christmas celebrants however why would you have been in an altercation with the vibe tribe that's sort of concerning to me so what happened was you know you know denver yeah he, uh, you tried to give some some edible cookies to the to the reindeer Mm. And uh, I wasn't having any of that shit because they're on a very special diet of organic edible cookies. Uh, I see. Are they so, vegan too? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I yeah, understand. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. Now so, you, you know once you um, once you pick a lifestyle choice, you have to stick firm with it, whether you're vegan, gluten free, lactose intolerant. There's no compromising. It, it is tough as, as Santa, you know, because we've been doing this for a couple hundred years, mm. right? So. You know, every once in a while you look at a reindeer and you're like, that kind of looks tasty. But mm, anyway, I would be a reindeer. Anyways. I don't know about you. I don't know if that's I'd blasphemous. Be, <laughs> like, <laughs> back in the day, let me tell you. <laughs> I mean, that that kind of brings me on to my next question. Uh, I'm sure a lot of people are wondering, what, how old actually are you? Yeah, so I am exactly 1,232 years old. Oh, wow. That's almost as old as me. I thought I was old. <laughs> yeah. yeah. How old are you? Wait, how old are you? I'm 1234 actually, as of next month. Oh, shit. Yeah. Okay. So, you okay. know, people think that you can just become an overnight YouTube news reporting sensation. You know, yeah, it, does, it doesn't work it. like that. My first 1230 years of my life were just researching and preparing and perfecting my craft so that eventually, you know, when I create the scarce YouTube channel, I can I can just blow up, you know. Speaking of blowing up, what do you want for Christmas? So, hmm, that's, thank you very much, Santa. That's actually insane. Um, yeah, you know, that's that's my that's my gimmick, right? Yeah. I ask people what they want yeah. for Christmas. So I've always been interested in hydrogen bombs. However, I don't really trust okay. myself enough to own one of them. So, uh, I'd say we find a good middle ground. How about a brand new OLED Nintendo Switch with Pokemon Violet? You know, as far as things that bombed, yeah, there you go. Right. There you go. You know, so. I mean, uh, the Switch would probably blow up trying to run the game anyway, so. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Oh man, me and the elves, we, we were always joking about about them Pokemon mm -hmm. games, let me tell you. Dale told me he's your number 15. So who are, you, who are your top five, let's say? My top five elves? Mm hmm. Yeah, okay, so number five is uh, Ted. Wow. Ted Krasinski, you may have heard of him. Um, he actually came in to work as an elf after the whole situation. Mm -hmm. uh, number four is uh, is Bob. Bob is uh, just a cool guy. Just a cool guy. A, a real man's man. Well, real elf's elf, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Number, number three, honestly, the my, my third favorite elf recently... He died. Oh in, no! Um, um, in, the, in the battle against the vibe loss. tribe. In the what? The battle against the vibe tribe. So you. Sorry. So you were. Sorry. So you were. No, 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 no. Let, let's let's have a quick um, <laughs> run for. I know this is a very difficult time with you. You know your third favorite elf just got slain, <laughs> but I, I feel like this, this <laughs> isn't something we should just gloss over. Can you can you please elaborate on that situation? Yeah. So. I, I told you uh, I had an altercation with the Vibe Tribe. Mm -hmm. um, recently, they, they had sent me a letter, their typical yearly letter of 
this is what I want for Christmas. Mm-hmm. Um, here's the, I actually have the letter right here. Oh, no way. I don't know why they sent it to me on a, on a whiteboard. Guys, this is a scarce know. exclusive. They wanted a um, Fortnite Battle just, Pass? They just want a Fortnite Battle Pass, and they want you to subscribe to uh, to the channel. So, mm. um, That's a quite a steep ask, though, if you ask me. It's a lot. It's a lot, but I'm Santa. That's what I do. Mm. So I'm like, all right, I'll go give him the Fortnite Battle Pass, and then they started asking for more V-Bucks. I'm like, bro, you just got the Battle Pass, and now you want more V-Bucks? Like, work towards it, you mm. know? Like, just... So I killed him. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's, that's, in, that's in, pretty much the story. In, in Fortnite or like... No, in real life. Oh, wow. Um, yeah. You are the St. Nicholas that, you know, uh, deal with the elf referred me to, right? A little bit. Did I just get clickbaited? I mean, that's crazy. I've spent so much money, so uh, we're going to continue with this interview, but... I did not expect to be interviewing Evil Santa. That's pretty yeah, insane, yeah. but hey, this is what you came to the scariest YouTube channel for, you know? Better than Drama Alert. He ain't got no Santa. I'd rather I'd rather have Evil Santa, man. Um, I, I don't like the term Evil Santa, though. Slightly name, mischievous you know? Santa. <laughs> sure, sure. There you go. We're, we're kind of two sides of the same coin, you know? What, what, you what differentiates the two of you? Because I, I assume you still both give presents right unless you're like you'd... yeah 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 it's, you know when you're like a bad kid and your, your parents are like if you if you're not if you don't stop being naughty you're getting coal for christmas i'm the one that goes and gives the coal for christmas this is insane guys well uh, i must ask are you are you a gamer yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so um as you can see i have a, a kirby up there mm. so i'm a big fan of kirby because I'm really bad at video games, and Kirby is easy. I see. And uh, that's about it. So you won't be playing no Dark Souls, even though you have quite a Dark Soul yourself. It, it's sure, sure. You figure if you got the original, why would you need to I understand. mess around with playthings of children? Mm. Right? Anybody that brags about beating Dark Souls just hadn't done anything like substantial in their life. Yeah, you know? I, I understand. Yeah. I understand. I mean, kids, if you're watching this, you know, you may you may want to stick to playing Kirby as um slightly mischievous center here it enjoys you get to like copy abilities right it's like plagiarism but in in a video mm. game it's pretty cool yeah true I mean like espionage is one of my top three favorite activities I mean I don't oh, use it okay. YouTube because that would make me a bad journalist but like in other sure. areas of life you know my, my channel is 100% authentic straight news i know you kind of got clickbaited into watching this interview but you know it, it is it, it is santa I'm not, I'm not i'm not lying to you and yeah, i i, mean, I got clickbaited, in the flesh so. right now uh, 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 you know since we're coming to the end of the interview i say we ask the more serious questions you know oh sure so, sure sure I'll, I'll be a little more serious what, what you got the, this might turn a lot of people against you or it might bring a lot of people towards you so it just be ready. Roblox or Minecraft? Hmm. 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 Yeah, I gotta be honest with you. I never cared for either. Wow. So you just want to yeah. turn everybody against you? Fuck them all, honestly. So are you more of like a mm. Fortnite enjoyer per se? <sighs> Fortnite battle pass. You know, shout out to the Vibe Tribe. Mm -hmm. Or what's left of them. They live on in my heart. Mm. And uh, my, 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 my basement. But that's fine. I understand. Well, I, I think we've been discussed some key points here. Firstly, Santa is actually evil and he killed the Vibe Tribe. But I mean, at least you'll still yeah, be come. getting your presents at the end of the year. Unless you've been naughty, in which case you won't. So, um. Just hope you're on the nice list. I know I am. Dale told me I'm on the nice list, so. Yeah, 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 yeah. Totally. totally. Mm. Um, well, thank you for coming on to the Scarce platform. The number one no problem, trusted man. news source in the whole entire galaxy. Yeah. Yeah, no problem, man. I gotta go be on uh, Joe Rogan tomorrow, so. Oh, shit. I figured we'd just knock these out back to back. Yeah. I understand. Anyways, I'll catch you later, man. See you.
Oh, what a ho ho ho. Oh, what's this? Hey, um, so, how, 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 how you been? Uh, I've, I've been good, thank you. How have you been? Uh, it's, uh, I'm, I'm going through some stuff. It's, it's, it's good to see you. Evidently so, I mean. Like, well, what's up? What do, what do you need to talk about? Obviously, you need to get something off your chest. Black Messiah killed my Ramson. Come again? I'm not your Denver. Okay. So, I was uh, slain. I, and you were also slain? So, I'm not the me that you know. And you're not the you that I know? Exactly. I'm from Earth-1, but as I'm coming more and more to realize, I think everybody thinks they're on Earth-1. But for me, this is Earth-420. Oh, sick. Yeah, I mean, yeah, if, right. I was, if I was to be on <laughs> any Earth... <laughs> I mean, this is a bit crazy, but like, you know, to, to look at it on the brighter side, I, 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 that's my favorite Earth. I'm honestly jealous. <laughs> I don't blame you. So... So, Earth 420, what happened to the Denver on my Earth 420? Right now, I'm in some more pressing matters dealing with an evil Santa Claus, and, uh, well, evil to make- Evil Santa? There's, yeah, there's an evil Santa that's taking over, and we're pretty sure it might destroy the entire Denver, so the multiverse entirely. Um... Christmas magic is not a joke, and Christmas magic has no rules. He it's was- you know. I just interviewed Evil Santa for my famous YouTube channel, Scares. What? Yeah. You didn't tell me. I mean, you didn't open with that. I mean, he's he's he seemed pretty chill. He didn't seem too evil, you know. He just seemed a bit mischievous. Uh, the the interview went great, you know. Professional journalism and stuff, you know. He just killed Jay. He killed Jay. He killed. He just, he's still supernatural, Jay. He was, he was goofy at first, but he chilled out. Wait, but like, Earth 420, Jay, or Earth 1, Jay? Earth 2002, Jay. Oh, no, that's like my top five favorite Jays. That is my top favorite. Five but, ah, the, the interview went so well, though. He was so chill. You know what? You're ridiculous. That, that's enough. You, 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 you need to, you need to cut your losses. You're clearly not in the right headspace. You but need... I'm scarce. Are you? You're not scarce. You are not scarce. I'm not scarce. So. You need to wake up. Okay. Okay. No, 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 no. You know what? You know what? Weed, oh. weed privileges. Re provoke. Give him. Revoke. Take him. No more. You're, you're okay. grounded against the law now. Uh, speaking of against the law, I think we have to do this as discreetly as possible. So, um, quick before anyone sees. Thank you for taking away my, my woad. Um, but last thing Evil Sun has said before leaving was that he's going to film a Joe Rogan podcast episode. So your best uh -huh. bets would be the JRE studio. One of his weaknesses is very difficult video games. He mentioned that he's a very low IQ gamer. Like, like Battletoads? Like anything above Kirby level, okay, is like impossible for him. I'll, so I'll just throw like Dark Souls at him. He'll be fine. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You're 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 Gucci if you throw Dark Souls at him. I got you. I'll disguise it as like uh, Paper Mario. Oh yeah, yes, that that game good. Please bring back my Denver, my beloved Denver. I might have a new mission after all. But thank you. Best of luck, my friend. Stay frosty.